Houston. Before we go into how Luis Severino was able to do something no Yankees starter had accomplished in more than a calendar year, an important backstory needs to be told. Prior to Severino throwing the Yankees' first complete game shutout since Masahiro Tanaka in April 2017, pitching coach Larry Rothschild drew up a game plan for Wednesday night that included some major tweaking from how the young ace was instructed to attack Houston Astros hitters in pasts. Remember how Severino's short but oh so sweet rookie in 2015 led to return trips to the minors in 2016 because his changeup needed a lot of developing well, it's been a weapon that's been getting better and better for twos to coincide with Severino's high 90s to 100 mph heater and nasty slider, and for this star Rothschild wanted more changeups thrown to Jose Altuve, Carlos Correa and co. Montgomery out six to eight weeks, what it means once that plan was set up, it was up to Austin Romini, the Yankees' number two catcher on most nights but the starter on Wednesday, to call for the change frequently. And it was from there that Severino went out and executed this game plan so well and so efficiently that he was rewarded with a chance to finish what he started. Severino excitedly went back out for the ninth with his pitch count at 98, and 12 pitches later an incredibly impressive 4-0 Yankees victory over the World Shoms was in the books. I felt like most of the night he was on cruise control and just lighting it up, Yankees manager Aaron Boone said. This was a special outing. Severino went after the Astros differently because, although the sample size was small, had struggled against them, allowing 13 runs over 18 and a third innings in five previous outings counting last year's ALCS. Every time I threw against these guys, it was fastball slider, fastball slider, Severino said. I tried to change and throw more change-ups. This time, Severino was in control pretty much from start to finish with a steady diet of fastball slider change-up. He mixed in a lot of change-ups, maybe the most of the year for him, Boone said. He never got out of sorts. It was just attack, attack and attack and I think it was about 4-1 to one strikes to balls. He was just dominating the strike zone with all three of his pitches and it was an elite performance, period. The only stress for Severino came in the seventh when Yuli Gurriel led off with an infield single and Josh Reddick followed with a line hit to put two on with nobody out in a 3-0 game. That's when Alex Bregman, the next hitter, looped a short fly behind second that looked like a sure hit off the bat until rookie second baseman Gleber Torres raced to his right and made a sensational diving catch. From there, Severino ended the threat with a strikeout and ground out. The infield hit to start it, then Reddick hit the ball hard and then a bloop and you're alike, is this how his night is going to end with a couple dinkers Boone said. And Gleber comes out of nowhere. Severino then worked a 1, 2, 3 eighth, and at that point he figured he was done because going 9 in this day and age is an extreme rarity. I had conversations with him after the 7th and after the 8th, Boone said. I was checking in with him and I felt like he had a lot left in the tank. Even after being assured by Severino that he felt strong and having seen him maintain his velocity all night long, Boone was hesitant to let him start an inning with his pitch count too shy of 100. There was a lot of trepidation, Boone said. It was frankly a tough call for me. I had a conversation with Savvy real quick and actually deliberated on it for a few seconds. I felt like he was in a good place to go back out. Severino was thrilled getting the opportunity, and he made the most of it by ending the game quickly. The Astros got a two-out hit, but nothing else and Severino completed a game for the first time in his career start number 60. This meant a lot to him because it was against a great hitting Astros team and in Houston, the place where the 2017 Yankees in Game 7 of the ALCS. Yankees Clint Frazier takes BP at AAA Scranton Severino had a great year last, going 14-6 with a 2.98 era plus a trip to the All-Star Game and a third-place finish in the Al Cy Young voting. But despite all that, Severino is pushing himself hard to put up better numbers this, an HES on his way with a 5-1 record and 2.11 era in seven starts. IDIDNT did nothing special last year, Severino said. I have to keep grinding, keep fighting. The things that happened last year, that's last year. This year I have to try to be better. Randy Miller may be reached at R. Miller at newadvancemedia.com. Follow him on Twitter at Randy Miller, find NJ.com on Facebook.